Hello Leo, welcome to your special messages from Spirit. This is a timeless video, so whenever you do come across this, it means that you were meant to see it. So that could be today, or that could be six months to a year from now. I want to kind of just go over my quick general message, my little saying here. As this is a general read, it may not relate to or resonate with every single single Leo out there. If you find that you are a Leo where this is not resonating with you, please do check your moon, rising, or Venus signs for messages that may be geared towards you at this time. Also, please do not make any life-altering decisions or any decisions based off of any general read that you see, any general tarot reading, as not all the information in a general read would be relevant to your situation. Therefore, if you are looking for something specific, please do seek out a private reading. That being said, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started, Leo. So I did a new spread for me, and over here is you, and this over here is the person that you, you are dealing with, whether it's a business partner, a relationship partner, a friendship, or just a, somebody that you have in mind, Leo. This is them over here. This is you over here. We're going to start with some guidance cards from the goddesses, then the romance angels, and then we have tarot for the specific situation. And then over here on this side, again, we have a god goddess of ice card with dealing with your person, <clears throat> the romance angels with dealing with your person, and tarot for what's going on with them at this time. If you like this setup, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started. So the advice cards from the goddesses come with really beautiful messages. So I'm going to flip this over here to see what we have. We have Convitina, and it's about purification. So I'm going to hold this up while I read that message to you. It is time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. This message comes as a help and not as an affront or a criticism. Your vessel has become clogged by overuse of harsh chemicals and the offending sources within your psyche. You have been ignoring your body's many signals and screams for relief from the steady ingestions of impurities. Perhaps you've also noticed a slump in your energy level and your degree of joy has lagged as well. Never mind these past effects, though, as the solution is at hand right now. Now that you've heard this message, do not hesitate for even a moment to make new arrangements. You'll want to keep a sharp focus on the contents of your mind and speech as well, for the words you think and speak are the very diet that supports or thwarts you. Choose purity, and I promise you a changed outlook for the better. Follow your intuition's guidance about making life changes. Stop abusing alcohol or drugs. Avoid processed foods such as sugars, white flour, and so on. Eat more organic foods. Keep your thoughts and speech positive. So there you have it. To detox and purify yourself is the advice coming to you from the goddesses. Let's take a look at the rainbow and the angels. We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Look at that. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Release your ex. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. <clears throat> Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other, Leo. So release your ex. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Flirt and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Let's take a look and see what the tarot is looking like. We got the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Hierophant. 
we have the Seven of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups and the Empress. Wow. Okay. So, what I see here is we have the wheel, which speaks of good fortune, the wheel turning in your favor, good luck, luck is on your side, divine is at work in your life, this is the hand of fate in your affairs, it's destiny, and we have the ace of wands, which is a passionate new beginning, spark of a new idea or creativity, we have the hydrophone which can speak to a leader of an organization, of a business, of a group. It can speak to a religious leader. It can speak to higher levels of education as well as higher levels of commitment such as marriage, engagement. This is a card of traditional values. And then down here we have the Seven of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. So... The Seven of Cups is all about options and choices, and some being illusions, where not all the options being presented are reliable or worth pursuing, and it's being kind of snuck, not knowing what cup to choose, and it's a warning not to get stuck in that energy to choose the one, take a moment to kind of look over your options, but to take the one that's best suited to you or to you and move forward. And the Six of Pentacles is all about the give and take in, in, in a, any type of relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. It's, a, you know, making sure that if one person is giving, the other person is giving just as equally. It also speaks to charity and balance. And then we have the Knight of Cups, and his is the romantic knight, <clears throat> the consensual an essential knight in shining armor. He's romantic, sentim sentimental, sweet, kind, compassionate, caring. He loves beautiful things and art. He is kind of a daydreamer. Very um, loving, very expressive. Uh, he can be so caught up in his daydreams, in fact, that he doesn't actually pursue the person, the object of his affection. And the Empress. Is all about creation um, and nurturing. She's a nurturing force. She's the mother of the tarot. She's loving. She's kind. She's intuitive. She's sweet. She's gentle. She's powerful. She's energetic. She gets guiding. She's a guiding force. This could be your energy or the energy of the person that you have in mind. Don't take um, gender at face value. We all have male and female energy within us. So this could be you or them. Same with the Knight of Cups. So what I see here with the Romance Angels and the Purification is that you're being called on to release your ex to purify yourself because divine timing is at work. There is a opportunity for a passion, a new beginning, for a higher level of commitment, or in a higher level of commitment. There has been options on the table, and I do feel like that because there's been options, whether it's you having options or them having options, it's left a feeling of unbalance. But you want to come in and you want to bring this new offer to this Empress energy, or them vice versa to you. There is divine timing here, however, and the recommend advice for you at this time is to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and to flirt. But let's take a look at what they have on their side. They have Cordella. Della, hmm, go outside. They're telling all to go outside. This is the message for you with dealing for them. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Being cooped up is not the natural way for inhabitants of this exciting planet to live. Believe me, there's plenty to see and experience when you exit your four walls and roof. A daily venture outside will not only revive your spirit and soul, it will give you hope and faith in this planet's very existence and future. You'll see all of the goodness that is in store within nature. 
the flowers ready to unfurl, the leaves that are sprouting, the birds that hop about, even the wind that affectionately caresses you. Don't let another day go by without stepping outdoors into this most entertaining and exciting environment. Your manifestations will appear in May or when the weather is warm. Spend time in nature. Change to a job that allows for more connection with nature. Practice environmentalism. Recognize the need for balance in your life for more rest and play. Okay, so what I feel like the advice here for you, Leo, is to go outside, spend some time, more time in nature. Even if it's taking a simple walk, it'll help you clear your head and bring yourself into balance. It'll help you cure the, this purification process. Let's see what the romance angels have to say with dealing with, your, with this person. Wow. Okay. So we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, let's take a look at what they have for the tarot. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Devil. We have the Queen of Swords. And we have the Seven of Swords. Wow, quite a difference between the two. All right, let's... Oh, okay, so... I feel like the Knight of Cups is you, Leo, and this is you wanting to bring an offer of love to them, a passionate new beginning in this commitment. I feel like for some of you, it is a commitment that you're already involved in. There may have been some unbalance because there's been some options on the table. And that the, uh, the Divine's involved in. Okay, so what I'm seeing over here is... They see you as the Knight of Cups trying to come in with this offer. But they're standing guarded. They're being protective. They're being guarded against this. They have the Knight of Wands energy, or this is how they see you. The Knight of Wands is a fiery energy, and a very passionate, very dynamic, very charismatic Knight. He is um, very sociable, kind of the center of attention. People like to be around him. He's given to grand gestures with the best of attentions. However, he doesn't always think them all the way through, and it kind of usually backfires on, on this night. They can also see you seen as undependable because they have a tendency to give up on the challenges or task at hand really quickly to go chasing after the next new challenge or shiny object that comes across their path. This person does have the energy, the devil energy, and this can speak to addiction, obsession, overindulgences, as well as, and, and that can be anything from Drugs, alcohol, smoking, overeating, undereating, overexercising, not exercising enough, staying up too late, not getting enough sleep. You know, anything that we need to practice moderation in or have an addiction towards gambling, sex. This also appeals to our more carnal, na car carnal nature and it can speak of toxic traits and we have patterns and behaviors and relationships but it also speaks to self-imposed limitations. They have the Queen of Swords energy. And this is a queen who is not standing for anything. She does not stand for any tomfoolery. She is blunt. She is honest. She's about honest communication. She's knowledgeable. She's intelligent. 
She has been through the battle. She has been through the war. She knows, has a lot of wisdom, knowledge, and she has definitely experienced pain. So she is not one who operates from her heart space. She operates from her head space. And when in the Queen of Swords mode, she is ready to cut something out if it's not being truthful or honest. And ironically, we on the other side of that, we have the Seven of Swords, which speaks to deception, sneaking around, wearing a false mask, lies, manipulations, doing what's best for them for themselves, thievery, but can also speak to self-deception. Okay, so let's, um, whew, let's see, I'm going to get a couple of cards on their side real quick. Why is the seven of rods here? Why is the seven of rods here? the devil energy here. Seven of Swords, please. Bear with me for just a minute. Seven of Swords, please. Knight of Wands. Okay, yeah, bottom of the deck we have the Nine of Wands, which is another energy that um, dictates that being guarded. All right, so when I ask about clarification for the King of Cups, we're going to start there. Um, this is going to apply to a um, certain amount of you. So we have this King of Cup, Light of Cups, which we have over here on your side, so I do believe that is you. And I do believe with the Hierophant and the um, Chariot coming through here that this is um, somebody who is already in a higher level of commitment, maybe even in a marriage with this person. The Seven of Wands being guarded and we have the Three of Swords. So there has been some heartbreak, some pain, some loss here that they're, that's what they're guarded against. They, they're... They, there's been some pain in this relationship and they're trying to protect themselves against feeling that again. Well, the Knight of Wands was clarified by the King of Cups and the Empress. So I feel like in this case, you may be dealing with a water sign, maybe a mother. Um, 
where there may be some instability or they are viewing you as having an unstable approach that they can't really depend on you. The devil is clarified by the seven of pentacles, the ace of wands, the six of swords, and the three of wands. So what I see here is there you know, maybe have been some toxic behaviors in the past, maybe regarding money or just, you know, kind of being in a place of obsession and worrying about money. They wanted a new opportunity, but they're moving away from whatever this energy was. They're moving away from that They're to get balance. They've learned some type of lesson here, and they're moving out of the turbulence, out of the conflict, away from this toxic behavior and patterns towards smoother waters, towards being more balanced, because they're focused now on the future. They're turning their back to the past. The Queen of Swords was clarified by the Ace of Swords and Justice. So I do feel like there is a balance, there is a balance, fair and balanced decision being weighed in here. There's going to be some mental clarity around the situation and communication because this, this person is cutting something out, maybe this toxic behavior. There may have been some deception in the past, again, regarding some money or balance. Someone has been deceptive in this relationship, but it's going to, you know, I, I do feel like, like that's going to that's gonna be clarified and that there's going to be justice in that situation is going to be weighed out. Let's see your side. Can I get one on the Wheel of Fortune, please? For some of you that is dealing with this situation, I'm going to be honest with you. There's a likelihood that this person is moving away from your situation. And that it's not going to come back around. We have the three of swords on the bottom again. Yeah. Again, we have the seven of swords, the five of swords, and the four of pentacles on the wheel of fortune. So someone has been deceptive. Someone's been unhonest. They've been holding back and they've been doing something that serves them. The wheel of fortune here is, is turning in your favor, Leo. The hand of fate. Here is this Ace of Wands, please. Yeah, you want a new opportunity. You got the Two of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. You want a new opportunity to renew this love or bring love in with somebody that's going to be stable. What's this higher font? Mm -hmm. Hangman. And the full. So with the hangman and the full, I mean, that means that I, I believe that you're actually in a place where you're not taking any action at this point in time. Maybe you're trying to get a new perspective. You are considering going in a new direction, taking a new path, which may be why, you know, we have these cups here, because you have other options other than pursuing this person. What is this Knight of Cups? But you're unsure because you do feel like this person is your person. Yeah, <laughs> we have the devil on the Knight of Cups. And some of you may have been obsessing over this situation a little bit. Yeah, you man manifesting. You got the card, the manifestation card. You're trying to manifest this person into back into your to your life or an out good outcome. The Empress, please.
And we got the Six of Cups on the bottom, which is indicated in a past relationship. Yeah. Okay, so with the Empress Leo, we have the Eight of Wands, the Moon, and the Tower. So here's what I see. I, Eight of Wands is all about communication, wet ready and waiting to spring into action, fast forward movement, face-to-face -face conversations, travel. The moon speaks to your subconscious, your shadow side. So this is your fears, your worries, your doubts. It's where all of our, you know, where we kind of tend to, to dwell when we are unsure. And the tower is an ending. This is trial by fire. This is where all lies, truth, half-truths, manipulations, deceptions are exposed and burned to the ground so that nothing that is not good and stable remains behind. This is quick, sudden, chaotic changes in our belief systems and our, in our thought processes. This is a complete upheaval. And this is with the Empress. So here's what I think. From everything I just seen. Okay. With the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel is turning in your favor. So that is the good the good news there is it is turning in your favor. And it may not immediately feel that way, especially when you have the Tower present. Because it does kind of create chaos because it's going to, you know, sometimes out of chaos comes the best of things. And in this case, I do feel like that is true. Um, the tower is here. So I think that's going to mean that you're going to have an epiphany. You've been worried. You've been wanting to communicate. You're trying to manifest this person. And I think, you know, you've been kind of obsessive over the situation, which is creating kind of some toxic patterns of behaviors. But at the same time, you've kind of been, not been taking any action, physical action, towards this person. Because you're trying to figure out, you know, what to do and how to approach this person, honestly. But you also are considering just, you know, kind of giving up and going in your own direction at this time. You do see this person as a soulmate, a very strong connection, and you want something stable and you want a new opportunity. But you just, and you're trying to manifest that. But you know things are not balanced and, and you have options. There has been deception here. There has been conflicts and arguments. Someone's been being, you know, your partner, I do believe, is being holding back. They're not sharing everything with you that they're feeling. And, you know, for them, they're seeing this commitment and they're being defensive against it. They're standing their ground against it because they got hurt. And they, in this situation, something happened and they got hurt and are being defensive against it. And they don't see you as being very defensive. They may even see you as a player. Um, don't don't take that to heart, Leo. I just feeling like that's maybe how they're seeing you. They have their own, you know, toxic energy that they're trying to combat and walk away from. They wanted a new opportunity, but now they're looking towards the future. There's going to be there is going to be justice in this situation and some truthful communication and kind of clarity. And I do believe that there's going to be balance restored. Because I'm seeing that on both sides, that there will be balance restored here between the two of you. But I don't necessarily know for some of you that you're going to get past this and move back together. I think that's all going to be with what the time the timing is. Now, with the advice from the goddesses, what I'm seeing here is you're being deployed to detox from this situation. And to go outside and spend more time with nature and be balanced. But, you know, here's the thing about the wheel and the divine. Sometimes they're leading you where you need to go. You do have the fool here as well about going in a new direction. And what I feel is, you know, release your ex. Because I do believe that as there was real love here and attraction... I feel like for some of you, going outdoors is actually going to bring someone new into your lives. Other of you, you may be able to work on this with this person and restore balance. 
they are your true love. They could be the one. You knew you're supposed to give this relationship one more try. But for the collective, I really do feel this is about releasing your ex and so you can meet someone new. Because well, on their side, Leo, I know you don't like to hear this, but I just, I don't see them. I don't really see them coming back towards you. I see them moving further away. That is all I have for you. Thank you for tuning in. I wish I had better better news for the majority of you. Please do remember to like, share, subscribe. If you like this setup, um, let me know in the comments below. If this resonated with you, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Remember to live in light and love. Namaste. Bye for now.